All right, we're starting to build the sketches for this frame. So what we have to do is draw sketch lines, and then later on we'll turn them into actual beams. So I'm starting with the sketch lines here. Uh, I have to understand that this sketch and these guidelines that I drew were on the top surface of the table. I want to know where they are on the bottom surface of the table so that they, they come to be on this plane here. So what I'm going to do is create a sketch on this bottom surface. And I'm going to do a line. And I'm going to do a line over here. I locked them horizontal. Right click escape line. Now I know they are 12 inches from the edge. So I'm going to go twelve. Because I want that to be in twelve inches. I'm going to go here and go 12. And I'm going to lock these two horizontal to each other and these two horizontal to each other. So now those are locked. Okay. And I'm going to set them coincident there to this plane, there to this plane. So now I have a line right where this plane touches the bottom of this piece, exactly 12 inches away. So we're set up with our line there. So I'm going to go to green check mark there. So now I have that sketch. I'm going to come up and I'm going to turn off sketch one now. I don't need to see that anymore, but I do need to see these two sketches. So we're going to make a new sketch on that plane. So I picked plane three or the side plane here, and I'm going to start drawing with the line tool. Go there to there, down, up, and over. And if I take a peek, down, up, down, over. And I have created what I need for my table leg there. Green check mark. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I have the table legs drawn for the side here, for the side here. Now I have to understand how this part, this X, goes through the center. So if I'm looking here, I need to go from this point down to this point, and then from this point down to this point. And that's how we're going to get the center X's. So I'm going to do a sketch, and because I kept this in the center, everything is all still nice and centered up perfectly, I can pick my front plane. So I'm going to do a sketch on the front plane. And I'm going to do a line. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of work because this here has given me problems. So I need to project some geometry. So I projected that on there and I projected this on there. Now I switched back with the line. I'm not no longer construction line. Go from here. And I'm going to just hook it to this line right now. To there. 
and I'm going to go from here to here. And we're going to use a new type of line here. We're going to, or a constraint, I mean, we are going to use pierce. Pierce means make a line hit another line. So I'm going to click pierce. I'm going to click here. I'm going to make it pierce this line. Boom. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to make it pierce this line. Boom. So that is pierce. So now we got to understand what pierce is. If I take a look, I have my table legs going here. I got my two X's going across. The last thing I have to do is finish out my top sketch up here. So if I'm taking a peek, I'm looking for that sketch that contains those two top lines. And I could have done this right away, but it's no big deal. I'm just going to open it up. It's sketch three for me. It could be a different sketch for you. And I'm going to fill this in because I'm actually going to want to. I missed my mark there. Endpoint, 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 endpoint. Because I'm going to actually want to build a rectangular frame there that I screwed for that tabletop. So I can hit green check. And I have all the parts made that I am going to create. And I'm ready to go. So I'm going to just take a little second to clean up what I don't need. I'm not going to need this bottom sketch. So if I take a look, that's sketch two for me. I can turn that sketch off. And I'm not going to need my planes anymore. So I'm just going to turn them off. Plane two and plane three. And it's going to help clean that up for me. Next, we're going to get into the beam.